It's to see you, to see you nice. In the words of the famous comedian. How are we tonight? I was debating in my head whether to come on tonight. Um, but I thought, no, it's good to keep up routines. It's good to keep up routines um, and habits. Good habits. Good to keep up good habits. So, uh, dressed down day to day, got my Avocat t-shirt on. Because <laughs> we had a PE today at school, so, you know, dressed down day. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I thought, right, come on to YouTube, try and keep up the habit of doing my YouTube lives on a Tuesday. Uh, for some of you, you might be like, oh, what? Can you see that bit of fluff floating by? Sorry, it just looked really white in the screen and I thought you wouldn't ignore it, so... I thought I'd mention it. Uh, what was I saying? Come on a little bit earlier. This might be my new time that I come on, I'm afraid. Um, because just it makes sure that I get a bit of an evening. Oh, comments are back. <laughs> I, I swiped and I saw comments. Um, just to make sure I kind of get a little bit of an evening and have time to kind of wind down after my lives. Because after a live, you kind of leave on not a bit like a bit of a high and then it takes time just to wind down from working and focusing and doing and then I just want to sit down for a bit and then by the time I sit down it should be really time to go to bed blah 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 and then I've got to um, make my lunch the next day and stuff like that so anyway yeah my work patterns change as I've said before so um yeah Things might change with my social media stuff. But it's great to see you. I'm glad that people are hopping on at half eight. And I think I will try and aim for this time in future. Just to let you know. Now, if you would like to get notifications, um, not just on YouTube, but if you've got WhatsApp, I can send out what's called a broadcast message, which means you loads of people get the message, the same message, but you can't see each other's phone numbers. Okay, which is the advantage of sending out on broadcast. Only I can see that. Uh, something else I was going to say. <clears throat> what was it? Oh, yes. So tonight I was going to do a major cop out and just go, do you know what? I might just do a Q&A. <laughs> so uh, it got me thinking, I'd like to do another Q&A and it might just help for um, a broadcast in the future. So if you've got any questions you want to specifically ask me, then um, maybe I can look back on this broadcast or email me or message me somehow. And um, maybe we could do that one day. Okay. <laughs> yes for me in WhatsApp says Mary. So Mary, if you send me an email at stampinstarcreations at gmail.com. Look, I'm so organised, I've lost my piece of paper. But... Um, I will add it in the chat if I can get onto my other device. Sorry for knocking you around. So tonight, getting back to the point of uh, going on and on and on, trying to log into my other device. I've uh, made a class in a card in class even, and I was going to find out before I showed you who I'm supposed to give um, credit to for this particular card. So you may have seen it before, and but I've adapted it to the European measurements. So let me just bear with, as they say, as I try. Okay, Linda Bedinger, 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 Bedinger. Linda Bedinger. If they say it fast, it's fine. Linda Bedinger made one called Abigail Rose birthday or anniversary card okay and so it doesn't have a particular name but it kind of reminded me of like a Chinese uh, what they call a chong sun like a Chinese dress okay now let me see if I can call up comments and I'll switch you around and around and around and then I can say do the register say hello to people make sure my volume's down okay sorted you're gonna have dinner with glenna tonight darling what i'm well gel how is that possible how exciting right excuse the state of my desk you've probably got a sneak peek over here 
I don't normally show you the projects beforehand and this one's falling apart only because I didn't stick it together so that I could show my class and while it's apart I will show you okay um let me just skip adverts and I can come on come on skip the old adverts there we go right let's do a quick register and then we'll get straight into this oh that's so exciting so so exciting darling okay good morning Anne Hi Linda. Hi Sally Jo. Ah, oh, good to see you. Hi Jackie. Hey Lisa and Janice. Hi Janice. Hi Anne. Darlene. Mary. Shirley. Patricia. Hopefully I've caught everybody. Liz. Hi from Canada. Liz, is this your first time? Have you been before? Oh Vicky, it must be super early. Ah. Oh. Oh, Darlene's in Toronto to see Elton John. Wow. Cool. Right. So, fancy fold. Um, so, yeah, everything's kind of pre-cut. Like I said, I did it in a class, so I'm just going to kind of do the, the kit. So, try not to zoom you in too much. I need a new sheet of paper. It's a bit scrappy. Let's just turn him over so, I can... so we can all see what we're all doing. Okay, so I'm using pool party as my base. It's 5.37am. Vicky, go back to bed. I'm honestly not worth waking up for. <laughs> honestly, crawl back to bed. I will not be offended whatsoever. <laughs> uh, right. So, if you wanted to make this card and you've got a piece of A6 card, I measured, so I've folded it um, in portrait like this and I've measured up from the bottom corner and marked it at one and three quarters or you're like me because you can do this in centimeters four, four and a half centimeters okay so i'll write this down for you because i'm kind like that four and a half centimeters what did i say one and three quarters or one and three quarter inches now this is particularly for a6 European standard size okay so what you're doing is you measure up and you make a little mark open up your card and then you chop off chop off as the Queen would say you chop off the corner okay <laughs> like there chop the corner off right Are you with me still then you want to do a 90 degree turn, okay? 90 degrees goes whoop, like that, okay? That's all you do, and then that slides down here, and that's the look we're going for, okay? Thank you. Oh, Vicky's working hard, even though she's woken up so early. But before we stick anything together, we want to obviously decorate first. So I'm using this lovely um, Beauty Abound paper, I think it's called that. And I'm going to choose one of these because it's got a lot more bluey colours in it. So we'll go for this nice bluey purple one. Now, don't feel that you need to cut the whole sheet because people aren't going to see that bit. By the time you stick your card together, you're not actually going to see the whole of the paper. So we kind of, you know, save yourself some paper that people aren't going to see and just chop it off a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this straight down. This piece, if you want, I know, measures uh, three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. Or in centimetres, it's 9.8 by 9.8, OK? So just cut it a little bit, cut a square, all right? Make life easy for yourself. Cut a square and just cut it you know, so that there's a little border on the inside. Okay, simples. So this is nice and easy because you can create these from one piece of card. Right, I reckon my tea's going to be too hot. I even left the tea bag in because it wasn't a very good colour. So let's just open this and have a swig. Oh, it's wet and warm. It will do. <laughs> okay, so we've got our background piece. And then to decorate the front, we are going to use a strip of paper. Now, have I got any more of these strips? There's one here. 
you can use the floral side but I tend to like to use the coloured side now again because my piece is mainly blues and purples I want the more bluey purple bit to show although I don't have any more blue purple bits because I've used them up everywhere else actually change of plan we're going to use up the yellowy the greeny yellow bee bits are we yes we are now because it's been used on a project already I can stick that straight down so let's do that so I'm not going to again you don't actually need this whole strip because we're going to come in with another piece and cover that bit over anyway so if you really want it to be salvageable what's the word frugal I'm going to just cut that little bit off okay Shirley's come home from holidays early. You've got a nasty virus. Oh, how horrid. And to break up your holiday to come home early because of a virus. That's really sad. Sorry to hear that. Love to Shirley. So you all talk about the fact that you've seen Elton John. <laughs> Hi, Judy. Hi, and bye, Cindy. Small break, join Stamp Club. Watch replay. Later. <laughs> Oh, Cindy's at Stamp Club. That's exciting. Right, so I'm going to take this right to the edge, but leave myself, again, like, look, have a nice little matching border going on here. Okay. So, do you remember that 90 degree piece? We're going to use um, this piece here. Um, like I said, this is the bit that's going to show up more because we're going to cover this up in a minute and decorate it. So we might as well use the purples and the blues and the greens on this side. So you can put the glue either on here or put it on your strip. But it makes sense to put it on your cardstock first. So again, you can, you know, swap and change your which side DSP you want. But just think about patterns and planes. You know, if it's too patterned, sometimes it can clash. So, yeah, lots of love and big squishes to Galena from all of us. That's so exciting. It's so exciting when people meet up in real life after um, being friends on online for ages. Okay. So we've got the strip on this side and the strip on this side. Are you with me? Right. You might want to know how thick that strip is. Again, it doesn't matter too much, but it's an inch long or 2.6, call it 2.6 centimetres, but you can go to 2.5. It's fine. Okay. So that's where we're at with that lot. Right. Uh, let's finish decorating the front. Uh, with here's some I made earlier. <laughs> I went ahead and just cut a load of die cut shapes on the paper because a sheet of this paper comes with matching die cut shapes. So to have it in keeping with my nice, well, I don't have any purple flowers left. Like I said, I used it in class. So let's save all these pink ones. Maybe use three different blues. And then I'm going to grab out some of the leafage foliage as well and hold some back in case I need it. Okie dokies. So just make, you probably don't need that many actually. I might just use a two or three. Yeah, that'll do donkey as they say. Okay, what I like to do is just give this a bit of movement. I'm going to stab it with my um, Tombow, break up those old fibres and just give it a little rub down at the back. And that sort of just gives it a nice sort of crinkly shape. Okay, and we could even squash it in your hands if you want. Really scrunch that up. Just helps give it a bit more fluid movement. And kind of curls round the shapes well hello bobby thank you for gracing us with your presence tonight my comments aren't keeping up there we go so let's stick these bad boys down and we can even afford at this point to have a few little dimensionales as uh, wendy would call them now be careful because 
bearing in mind where your flower might stick. You don't want dimensionals to be hanging over in the wrong place. So I'm going to go for this side. So how are we all, apart from Paulie Shirley? How's everybody doing? It is very strange to be working on a Tuesday, but I will get used to it eventually. <laughs> I can't like, believe I caught my friend live. Oh, Bobby. Well, I'm not usually here at this time. But like I said, this might be my new time, folks. I don't know how it sits with everybody, but... um. Well, it might be quite nice to overlap that. Okay, so here's the great thing about this card. When you come to stick this flap at the front down, you can leave this open as a pocket if you wish. Welcome, Kathleen. Lovely to have you with us. Or you can just go ahead and stick the whole um, piece down. So if you wanted to leave a pocket, just do a little bit of glue down one side and along the base okay but if you want to cover that up and not use it by all means put a bit of glue there okay so I'm gonna go ahead and stick this down don't forget to match it up okay and then it means that because I've stuck it down I can now do my overlapping with these flowers okay Oh, Mary's hurting a little because she's got an old tattoo re-inked and extended around her ankle. Oh, Mary, could you post a picture on SSE Inspired and Shared? We want to see what you've got. Uh, Judy's been watching tennis. Vicky's been busy finishing her friend's baby scrapbook. Ah, oh, good on you for getting it done, Vicky. Sometimes when you start projects, it's like you don't want to get it finished. Uh, Linda says it's 103 degrees in sunny Southern Cal. Off to make a lunch for this crowd. Miss you all. Oh, I miss you, um, call you Vicky. Miss you, Auntie Lynn. Uh, Janice is in bed, still dealing with jet lag. Oh no. Why do I wake at 2 a.m. having a tea party with yourself? Oh, bless you. Right, if anyone's awake at 2 a.m., just message Janice. <laughs> Party's at hers. <laughs> Oh, that's annoying, isn't it, Janice? Now, this has got a nice dark petal. This has got both, and this has got a light one, so it might be nice to have some continuity. That's a good word. And I want to cover up the stems of this flower, so I'm going to stick that in there. <clears throat> so, hardly any stamping on this card, but by all means, you can make it with different DSP. You're only about three to four pages hoping to get it finished today. Well, I'm working on something a bit different. Um, I'm working on a cross stitch for my in-laws. I'm hoping they're not going to watch this video. I don't think they are, so I think I'm safe. <laughs> so for their special anniversaries, I tend to do a cross stitch. I think this will be the last one I do because they're going to run out of space on the wall if I keep going. Um, and yes, I'm working on that. <laughs> I'm working against the clock. I'm hoping I'm desperately going to get it all done in time. So they'll be celebrating 50 years, their golden wedding anniversary, at the end of the month. So I'm trying to get that sorted for that. I need to make them a card. So I need to do that at some point. Okay, how are we doing? Oh, I've forgotten, to <laughs> I've forgotten that you need to stick the inside down totally forgot about that never mind I'm going to leave that for the moment so you can decorate the front how you will you can even probably cover the front with paper if you really wanted to stitch on then Esther says Jackie <laughs> thanks Jackie for the motivation okay so now we're going to it's going to act as a um I'm going to have an acting pocket inside like this how about this one how about this card she says says uh, Sally Jo. I want to do something a bit more fancier and a bit more golden I think Sally Jo but thank you. I've seen a few fancy folds that I'd like to give it a go. Now the trouble with these uh, stumbling up mugs <laughs> they keep your tea rather hot for rather long so when you want to get on and drink it 
Okay, let's work on the inside. So for the inside, I've cut down a piece of um, pool party. Good evening, Carol. Liz, I saw your little boo-boo there, your typo. <laughs> Eerie card, she says. She meant very, very, very nice card or something. Uh, and I've cut a bit of Whisper White to tuck in. Um, not paper crafting table, but crocheting hoodies for my grandkids, says Liz. Oh, that's cute. Um, oh, Vicky got the new beanie and the mug. It's not available to us yet. I, I noticed that it was on the website. Um, but I, um, it wasn't available to us, so. Okay, let's concentrate. I just had an idea about whether to use watercolour wishes and to stamp the circle in the blue. I don't know if this is going to work. So let's, the only way we find out on these things is just to actually give it a go. Because unless you try, you'll never know. Oh, do you excuse me? Oh, do you excuse me? Poor Pate, where have you gone? Now, confession time. Since Ellie came here and we had to go with my ink, I've not been putting them back the same way. Which means now I'm coming to find a pool party there is. Beanie's lovely. Is it like a beanie or is it like a, a hat, if that makes sense? Because you know like beanies um, sort of tend to hang a bit longer, don't they? I'm just going to test this out. Sometimes if your colour is too inky, it can... Um, not come out right with the watercolour wishes. Sometimes you need to literally push your ink aside with your your block to um, get a better um, image. That's not too bad. I'm going to go with that. It's an actual beanie, so it's probably a bit bigger than like a normal. Excuse me, getting warm. <coughs> not a normal uh, hat. That's interesting to know. So that's a logoed Stampin' Up cream beanie hat. Okay. So I've gone ahead and done that in pool party. She might just be able to see if we tuck it in. And I'm going to come in with a matching flower. Um, now, I'm changing my mind as I go along. I was going to maybe colour it in in purple, but I don't know if that will work. I wonder what they've coloured they've used there. They've, it looks like almost Blackberry Bliss. Let's get Blackberry Bliss. I'm just again just thinking out loud. What have I done with Blackberry Bliss? <laughs> Everything's gone walkabouts. Where are you? Blackberry Bliss. I don't think you're in there, but I'm going to check anyway. You're not there. Where is my Blackberry Bliss gone? Who's stolen it? I cannot see it for the life of me. No, don't know where it is. Right, which Razzleberry it will have to be. I wonder where that's gone then. I've tidied my desk as well. Okay. Um, no, that's Merlot. Uh, you're over there. I see you. Yep, I see you. Hi, Cindy Fox Taylor. forgotten that I'd moved some out of my reach for another project. Okay, is this going to work? I'm still not convinced. <laughs> but hey ho and away we go. Like I said, there's only one way to find out. I don't think I really suit beanies. I need like the hat to be pulled over my face. <laughs> not my face. <laughs> Yeah, that'll make a good uh, image, wouldn't it? Just pull a hat over Esther's face so we can't actually see her face. <laughs> oh, Janice. Hugs. Sleep well, lovely. Take care. Okay, so... I'm just wondering whether to go in with the blends. And sort the flower out a bit more. Let 
Let's just go with, okay? I'm gonna go with it. Janice is waving to everybody. Wave back. Everybody waving a light to Janice. Before she falls off her perch. <laughs> That's cute. So a bit of rough colouring, everybody. We like a bit of rough colouring every so often. Try and get you down a bit. Rough colouring is for those days when I've got any ink in this thing. It's a new one I should have. Sorry, rough colouring is for the days when we can't be bothered to do proper colouring. There we go. Yeah, it's not sure, but you know, I'm just gonna see. I like this idea on its own actually, this image. Not sure if it goes with the card. Might keep that for a separate project. So let's go back to plan A. But that kind of I like it for something, you know? So don't, don't entirely dismiss it, it will go in my uh, scrap pile. So what did I do here? Let's have a quick look. <clears throat> oh yes. <laughs> okay. Plan B. Backup plan. Um, well, we could go purple. Let's go purple for a change. So back to Blackberry Bliss. Actually, no. <laughs> Not Blackberry Bliss because it's too dark. Because although there might be Blackberry Bliss in the image it's not the main colour that's showing up so I feel like I'm talking to myself you know that kind of scenario right I'm going to come in with a purple blending brush oh I just caught the caught that coming with my purple blending brush and then I'm gonna grab out gorgeous you're gorgeous you're good, just good, just great. Okay, I'm sticking, I'm sticking, I'm sticking to the plate. No, I'm just saying that because I thought it might rhyme with grape. Okay, there we go. So we've got a little flower edge going on. Um, and then we're going to go for a sentimental. <coughs> Uh, should we go a bit of, should we a bit of, um, <laughs> what's the word? Oh, sorry, sorry folks, sorry. Let's go for a little bit of granny. Oh, God, after lunch. Just because, do you know what, I've realised granny, poor granny, she's been left on the sidelines since parakeets come along. Whoops, daisies. Granny has definitely, definitely been left on the sidelines. And so I've picked up Granny recently and gone, do you know what, Granny? You're not forgotten. So um, um, I've moved my blend pens. So now I normally do dark light dark than light but I saw something recently where they did light and then dark so I think I might just do that now the trouble is if I've coloured one in does that mean I now have to colour the flower in I didn't want to have to colour the flower in as well. Am I making a rod, everybody? <laughs> hey, Levine. I didn't see you sneaking in. How are you today, Levine? Are the kids back to school? Lovely. Right, I might just try and get a little bit more colour on here. Mm. 
Oh, that's better. Okay, makes me a bit happier. I'm gonna sneeze. Oh, convenient tissue box over here. <laughs> I didn't think I had one in the craft room. Hello, Shard. Hi, Jan. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry, I was talking to somebody about sneezes the other day and saying, I don't sneeze quietly, take after my dad. I rarely sneeze once and it's not good to keep sneezes in anyway we've decided <laughs> so I think what would be nice is wishing you all the happiness you can imagine that's a nice sentiment now I should have done the flower on this side so that my sentiment would show up on this side had I forward planned that but we're going to go for the middle because it will do my OCD in. Okay, it needs to be in the middle. Can I fit on this block? Mm, not quite. Let's go bigger. Um, what colour do we want to go? Gorgeous grey, why not? Claire says, I wish I hadn't come back to school. Claire's back at work. Along with the rest of us. <laughs> That's the trouble with having such a big break as well. Okay. Life isn't life without splattage. Spittle. Dottage. So, green with the green. Um, Pepel with the pepel. Purple to you and me. A little bit of that. All day donkey. And as we're here, we might as well chuck on some blue. If it's coming out with pen or not. Don't know. Don't know. <laughs> don't know if you can see the blue. Okay. And then we are going to attach to this. I've lost my original one now. There you are. Okay, how did I attach it? I attached it with a staple. So let's have a look at the. I've got this lovely stripy ribbon. Oh, look what's come out to play. That would go, wouldn't it? Okay, if you wish to be here, I will use you as well. Um, now I need my stapler. Stapler is a good tool kit, tool to have in your kit. Now I just thought if I stuck it behind, then you wouldn't see the staple, would you? Gorgeous, that's a nice colour palette, it says. Shirley, thanks Shirley. So, in order to make the staples not stick into someone's hands, she says, I'm trying to do it the other way. Is this the right way? Yes, so the neater put the staples on the back, then I can use that to cover that. Do we need the green bit anywhere? Is that worth tying a little dotage, knotage? Tying a bit of knotage. Yep, next to me in bed fighting sleep, she's been quiet after. Ah. Oh. Must be strange for you, Wendy. Ah, oh, with your kiddies at school. Let's just cooperate there, please. I sort you out. You're still attached, I know, I know. Okay. My desk has been gone from semi-tidy to messy again. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, that's an idea. So you can stick that down. Uh, my original one, I just stapled it through like that. 
But with this one, I'm going to hide the staple underneath. So yes, it will be slightly bumpy, but what would you rather? Bumpy work or neat work? I'll let you choose. Oh, Shaz says she missed me today. Thanks for missing me. <laughs> That's really sweet. Yeah, I mean, I'm amazed that I kind of managed to remember it's Tuesday today and stuff. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so, it's just really weird and different. But uh, today was a bit of an easier day at work. But for all of us, it's getting used to new routines and new way of life. So it's all a bit strange still, but um, I think we'll get there. And like I said, I was kind of in two minds as to whether to come come um, on to do the live. But if you've got any questions, I wouldn't mind doing like a Q&A session. So that would help out um, if I want to do a broadcast in the future. OK, so this one tucks in here. I don't think the time has affected people coming on too much, which is good. So that will go in there and then the recipient um, pulls that out and you can write your message. You know, you can, I could cover another bit with a uh, white card on the back, which would probably be better. And then, so let's get this stuck down. So again, don't glue the card shut, whatever you do. Just put a little bit along the bottom and a little bit up the side, okay? And then uh, I'll just show you the original. I added some colourful gems on there, so we'll have a look at some gemmage. And then get this card completed. How are we off for time? Okay. Oh, thanks, Jackie. Just darling. Thanks, Esther, says Bobby. Thank you. Right, thanks to Linda uh, Bell Bellinger. Is her name. Coming up with the original design. And obviously hers... Measurements are slightly different, but I've adapted this to fit UK and European sizes and Australian. Right. Um, what have we here, as they say? I could do some more of these pretties. Oh, let's use these. Quick question. If I want to place a very faint design behind wording of a wedding invitation on white paper, any suggestions? First, mark doesn't work on white. Let me read that again. If you want to place a very faint design behind wording of wedding invitations on white paper, could you use vellum? Kathleen, have you tried using vellum? Faint wording behind wedding invitation on white paper. Or I would use a very pale grey. Um, uh, Liz is asking, what size is this base card? Liz, I don't know where you're... I think you're in Canada, did you say? Um, this is A6 size. Um, but it can be adapted to um, American and Canadian sizes. So... Um, I'm going to call up the share the link. Um, let me see if I can go and grab the link for you. And then I can share the original one because the lady has probably done it in. So rather than re um, doing it, excuse me a second, I'm trying to find it. Wouldn't it? When you try to look for things, they disappear. Come on. Where are you? It's an alphabet. Oh, there you go. Alphabetical order. <laughs> um, here we go. I'll oh, share hers. Share. And then come back to you guys. Um, but yeah, like I said, I adapted it slightly. But same concept. So... You know, you can work on the sizes. Um, 
Thank you, yeah. No, it's from the Mountain Air uh, stamp set. They want the mountains beneath the formal wording on the invite. Somebody suggesting clear embossing. Night, Shirley. I hope you feel better really soon. Okay, there's um, Linda Bellinger's one. Okay, right. Um, these will go beautifully, I think. Let's have a look. Hmm, I might have to put them down here. Governor. Right, rather than on the purple bit, but that could work. And then maybe, baby. Oh, I think the offer is still on this week, but if you love those gold foil butterflies that are ever so useful, um, embellishments. Stampin' Up! have got an offer every week in September. I noticed that this week's offer was the butterflies, so go and grab them while they're on offer because they're normally quite expensive. But you do get a good amount on here, so they're worth getting. And they just go with everything and anything, and they just give that extra little hint of something, something. So I'm just wondering whether to stick some on onto here. There we go. Hello, Tracy. I'm about to wrap up in a minute, lovely. Kathy, yeah, Kathy's going to try clear embossing. Just, yeah, or a very, yeah, you kind of get a very faint colour. Like, I'd be tempted to stamp off um, something like Smoky Slate. So, let's move this out of the way. My original one's still falling apart because I've, <laughs> I've unstuck it all, but just goes to show a slight variation on the card. Um, you can obviously add a little bit of Wink of Stella. I think if you've gone to the effort to make a card like this, you know, the least you can do is put a bit of Wink of Stella on it. <laughs> Jazz it up a little bit. A little glitz and glam. Um... So yeah, that's stuck down. Sometimes when you give people fancy fold cards, they're not quite sure what to do with it. Um, they start trying to open it. So give it to somebody who knows what they can do with it or be there to tell them, you just got to pull this up. I mean, you could probably put, put in maybe a couple or two or three um, cards in here, which would be nice. So you could do like a, a staggered, like one for a message, one with a sentiment, that type of thing. So that could be cute. Um, I suppose it should be called a pocket card. Um, fancy for a pocket card. I think we should come up with a, a good name for it. But like I said, it, to me, it's kind of almost gives a little collared um, Chinese style effect to it. Um, there you go. So you can have a play with that. Um, I was tempted to use that not, is it celebration paper, that autumn winter one, but I'm going to save that for um, some other projects. So I just thought, oh, I'll just use this one. There we go. Thank you so much. It's lovely to see you all. Um, I appreciate you hopping on, especially at a different time. I can't believe I nearly made it an hour again. It's what was supposed to be a quick card. Um, like I said, if you've got any questions, I'm hoping to do a Q&A soon. So best place to probably put it is if I make a post on Facebook, but I understand not everyone's on Facebook. If you've got any questions, feel free to email me at stampinstarcreations at gmail.com, which I will put in here. Stampin. Star Creations. Spell it right. At gmail.com. It's my little jingle. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. I'm glad you enjoyed this. Um, and it, yeah, really simple to do, but I think quite effective. And once you know that initial measurement of where to mark it, then you're away and um, it's not too shabby. I hope I'm not coming through to. Um, pixelated today. I think I'm okay. Right, nice to see you all. Um, if you're not already, you can subscribe to my channel, pretty please. And then you can catch me next time on my lives and my videos as well, because I upload videos too. Um, so I think next week I will try and be on at the same time at 8.30 my time. So 
excuse me, because it just works out um, a lot easier for me. So that's the plan. Okay, I know for um, particularly the Australians, it's far too early in the morning, but hopefully when the clocks change, I don't know if that will work to your advantage or not. Okay. Jackie says, love the new card fold and not seen it before. Thanks for sharing. You're welcome. Yeah, it's a nice one. I think it's, you know, a great one for um, any occasion, really. That's the great thing about fancy folds. And this is a nice, simple, easy one. So there we go. Thank you all. Take care. Lots of love. And um, good to see you. And I'm glad I popped on. And hopefully I'll see you again next week. All right. God bless. Lots of love, Darlene. Have an amazing time with Glenna. Um, and lots of photos, please. Thanks, Jackie. Thanks, everybody. Take care. Bye.